Form criticism as a method of biblical criticism classifies units of scripture by literary pattern and then attempts to trace each type to its period of oral transmission. Form criticism seeks to determine a unit's original form and the historical context of the literary tradition. Hermann Gunkel (1862–1932), Martin Noth, Gerhard von Rad, and other scholars originally developed form criticism for Old Testament studies. They used it to supplement the documentary hypothesis with reference to its oral foundations. Carl Ludwig Schmidt, Martin Debellius (1883–1947), and Rudolf Bultmann later applied form criticism to the Gospels. Over the past few decades, form criticism's emphasis on oral tradition has waned in Old Testament studies. This is largely because scholars are increasingly skeptical about our ability to distinguish the original oral traditions from the literary sources that preserve them. As a result, the method as applied to the Old Testament now focuses on the Bible's literary genres, becoming virtually synonymous with genre criticism. Topic. Literary forms and sociological contexts Topic. Form criticism begins by identifying a text's genre or conventional literary form, such as parables, proverbs, epistles, or love poems. It goes on to seek the sociological setting for each text's genre, its situation in life. German, sitz im Leben. For example, the sociological setting of a law as a court, or the sociological setting of a psalm of praise hymn is a worship context, or that of a proverb might be a father-to-son admonition. Having identified and analyzed the text's genre pericopes, form criticism goes on to ask how these smaller genre pericopes contribute to the purpose of the text as a whole. Demythologizing Topic. As developed by Rudolf Bultmann and others, form criticism attempts to rediscover the original kernel of meaning of a text. Bultmann described this process as demythologizing, although the word must be used with caution. Myth is not intended to convey a sense of untrue, but the significance of an event in the narrator's agenda. What, ultimately, does the writer mean by it? In the case of the canonical Gospels, this demythologizing aims to reveal the underlying kerygma or message conveyed by a passage, what does a Gospel say about the nature and significance of Christ and about his teaching? Form criticism thus attempts to reconstruct the theological opinions of the primitive Church and of pre-Talmudic Judaism. The Evangelists Studies based on form criticism state that the evangelists drew upon oral traditions when composing the canonical Gospels. This oral tradition consisted of several distinct components. Parables and aphorisms are the bedrock of the tradition. Pronouncement stories, scenes that culminate with a saying of Jesus, are more plausible historically than other kinds of stories about Jesus. Other sorts of stories include controversy stories, in which Jesus is in conflict with religious authorities, miracles stories, including healings, exorcisms, and nature wonders, call and commissioning stories, and legends. The oral model developed by the form critics drew heavily on contemporary theory of Jewish folkloric transmission of oral material, and as a result of this form criticism one can trace the development of the early gospel tradition. However, today it is no exaggeration to claim that a whole spectrum of main assumptions underlying Boltman's synoptic tradition must be considered suspect. Topic. See also. Topic. Walter Brueggemann. Rudolf Boltman. Hermann Gunkel. Klaus Koch. Martin Noth. Gerhard von Rad. Claus Westermann Topic References Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Armerding, Carl E. The Old Testament and Criticism. Grand Rapids, Eerdmans, 1983, pp. 43 to 66. 
Hayes, John H. An Introduction to Old Testament Study. Nashville, Abingdon, 1979, pp. 121-154. Hayes, John H., ed. Old Testament Form Criticism. San Antonio, Trinity University, 1974. McKnight, E. V. What is Form Criticism? Guide to Biblical Scholarship, New Testament, Philadelphia, 1967. Tucker, Jean M. Form Criticism of the Old Testament. Guides to Biblical Scholarship. Philadelphia, Fortress, 1971. Tucker, Jean M. Form Criticism, O.T. pp. 342-345 in Interpreter's Dictionary of the Bible, Supplementary Volume. Keith Krim, Jen. Ed. Nashville, Abingdon, 1976. Topic. Further reading Topic. Koch, Klaus 1969. The Growth of the Biblical Tradition, The Form Critical Method. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. ISBN 0-684-14524-3. Lofink, Gerhard 1979. The Bible, Now I Get It. A Form Critical Handbook. New York, Doubleday. Tucker, Jean M. 1971. Form Criticism of the Old Testament. Philadelphia, Fortress Press. ISBN 0-8006-0177-7. External links Form Criticism, Dictionary.com Form Criticism, Encyclopædia Britannica Online Biblical Criticism, at Religious Tolerance website